and welcome to Nin Bin. This is a very peaceful, quiet tourist village called Trang An, just outside the small city of Nin Bin, just sort of on the edge of northern Vietnam, getting closer towards central Vietnam if you look on the map. I'm here for a very short stop before heading further south tonight on another overnight train to Dong Hoi. The area is full of these Halong Bay-esque large rock faces, some very picturesque things made of bamboo. Just as I mentioned bamboo, I'm now walking on it towards this makeshift little sanctuary in the middle of a pond here. Pretty cool. Hello? I've not seen this type of landscape. Looks like Avatar or the dinosaur period. In fact, Kong Skull Island was actually shot here in this area of Ninh Binh, which is probably why it has this otherworldly look to it in a way, or sort of dinosaur period look, as I said. A lot of really nice homestays, which are very affordable here, run by authentic local people. Sun just getting lower now, reflecting that beautiful light onto all of the greenery around. So far this is the best place I've been to in Vietnam after Sapa and a brief stay in Halong City which I didn't mention. I actually went there but then had to leave very quickly because if you've been keeping up with the news then Typhoon Mankut is heading towards southern China, Hong Kong and I think at this point the northern regions of Vietnam. So that's why I'm also taking the overnight train to Dong Hoi to try and avoid like the worst hit areas. It's already hit the Philippines but it won't be as strong when it finally gets to Vietnam but still if it's not a typhoon it's going to be strong rain, strong winds and I don't really want to be in the main area for when that hits. By the time this video is uploaded the typhoon will have well passed so we'll probably all know um, just how severe it was in terms of hitting this area of Vietnam but it's a super typhoon and the strongest one this year. I've walked quite a long way, nearly one hour, maybe a little bit more, a few miles at the very least actually, and I've reached this place where you can actually take a boat, you can hire some people to row you, I think you can even go yourself, um, but it's a little bit late and I have to get back and shower, have some dinner before my overnight train but it's worth just looking at now before the rain kicks in, which it will <laughs> in a second as it's starting to spit. Check out the reflection on the water here. With that low-lying sun, it's that light that I always talk about in my videos that makes your images just pop. Really cool sort of figure here with its arms flared out. I'm not really sure what it's about. It's not actually a figure, I just realized now. It's a electricity line. <laughs> but it looks like someone doing this with their arms.
getting darker, more reflections on the water here, tinge of mystery this time of early evening. Still so quiet. The sun has now gone down and you can see here the lanterns and the view. Sitting here with this very peaceful view in front of my homestay and with that I'm going to end the video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.